Alrighty, guys. Welcome back. We are back live again. Leather Pocket, Calgary, Alberta for the $1,000 added. 10 ball on the 7 foot diamond tables. This is a B side match. Peter Almazon, Paul Richens doing battle. This is the first game. And once again, if you just tuned in, you know what to do. Help us out, hit that share button. Nice bank shot from Peter. Is he on the three? I don't think so. I don't think he can even see the edge of that. Even the hit's tough. Can't quite tell if the three is frozen, even looking live. May have to go to the left side of five off the end rail and try to spin in. <laughs> Barb, how are you? Good to see everybody back. Sunday evening, really not anything better to do than to tune in, watch some pool. Hang out with Ben and I. What's going on, everyone? Got a good match here. This should be a good match for sure. Paul's been clawing his way back through the B side after yeah, disappointing first match. Missed a lot of balls in the first match. Did he? Yeah. Who was he playing? Uh, John DLC, I think. Oh. <laughs> Paul says this is his lucky table. Oh, no. He played Derek. Derek is who he played first match. Yes. And if... Uh, if you're not a regular Q Sports live viewer, it is not an echo in here. Ben and I have similar sounding voices. I've always wondered how that happens, but apparently it does. Because I'm six foot, Ben's three foot. <laughs> if you guys can just imagine, we're wearing the headsets where you can hear each other through it too. So yeah, to us, it sounds like an echo as well. That's right. <laughs> Peter looking to good, draw first blood. Yeah, he's got uh, just a little bit of angle here, which is good. Yeah, pop over, seven down to the bottom right. Just gotta make sure you're not too close to the nine. Bridging over the nine could cause trouble. I don't yeah, mind that. Yeah, he plays it with lots of angle now. Play the eight in the same pocket as this ball. Plays it safe instead. Mm, yeah. Horn hooks With the as horn. Well. <laughs> wow. You gotta go three rails here if the 10's on the way. That's weird. Uh, some can tell the difference, some can't. There's times I've been on the mic and I get Ben. I'm sure Ben gets the same when you're on the mic. Just all the time. Yeah. So the, here's, I'm gonna give you the keys to how to tell the difference between Ben and I. It's really not in the voice. It's in table knowledge. Uh, ben has me licked when it comes to table knowledge. I wouldn't go that far, but. Oh, you do. Your table knowledge is way better than mine. But it can be, it, you can tell the difference like in what we say, right? Yes. Just the way we word things, of yes. course. I had a little bit of. Southern. A little Southern, <laughs> a little spice. <laughs> Much more spice, yeah. Much more spice, yeah. And some big things potentially coming. I dropped a little bit of a, a teaser earlier. Uh, potentially some big things coming. We've got a big meeting tomorrow, and if uh, if it all works out and we get all of our T's dotted and our I's crossed, <laughs> we should be should be good to go to announce some pretty good stuff. Yeah, for sure. Make sure you guys are following along. Share with your friends. Still got lots of good pool to go tonight. Oh, there's so many good players. Uh, I would imagine we'll be here till around 11, yeah. maybe 10:30. It depends on <laughs> Ben's voice is also deeper. It depends on the day. There are uh, there are days when I'm tired. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a tie ball game in the deep voice department. Yeah, we've both definitely been in in that spot oh, yeah. where you're just feeling right spry so your voice is <laughs> you know, you're all excited yeah right <laughs> the 
It doesn't happen often. It does not no. happen often. These tournaments are long and yeah. stressful. So Ben just flashed up uh, uh, a coloring book that's actually by Desberry. I don't know if uh, he's a well-known pool player across Canada so in the native arts. <clears throat> and of course at Q Sports Live, we like to support pool players in their endeavors. So that is for sale. You can go check that out on the website. 25 bucks and help support uh, the native arts. Yeah, make sure you guys go check it out. I am playing Kent, Randy, what's up? What's going Jared. on, Jared? <laughs> uh, yeah, Ben is playing. He's got a longer wait than I do. He's, uh, on, he's yeah. still on the winner's side. It could be close to equal, though, because Russ and, Russ and Mike could be a while. Like, they just started not too long ago. Yeah. So it could be. I shouldn't be waiting too much longer than you. Ben's the one that put me to the B side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a, I had you, a chance, You put though. yourself to the B side, I did. yeah. I had a chance. And that was just the way I wanted it, too, you know. Yeah. I didn't want to beat you. I, I wanted you to beat you. Well, and I did that. I absolutely did that. So we're playing, and I uh, I have a chance to make it 5-5. Five five. And <laughs> I shot the wrong ball. I shot the five ball and not the four ball. Yeah, you shot the wrong ball, yeah. Yeah. And I don't and think easy, either, easy either one of us noticed. I was just looking the other way because he was straight in on the four, so. Yeah. I was straight in on the four, but then I, I looked didn't back see the and four, I'm like, so I played the five six combo. Yeah. And I made the combo and I was feeling good. It was perfect it was too. Combo. Got good shape. Yeah. yeah, I had great shape on the five <laughs> afterwards. I was quite pleased with myself. It happens. We've all done it. Yeah, and every time I feel like kicking my own, you know what? What's going on, Mr. Batten? How are you? The, the guy with a good name. Got a great, great name, actually. I'm kind of partial to it. Kind of partial. This is a good angle for Peter here, I think. Yeah, he's looking really roll good. Roll this, go around the six, play the six in the same pocket. See, uh, I, I like to draw that. I draw between that window of eight, six. Yeah, it looks like, but then you're on the wrong angle. That's why I don't like, I like being on the other angle, like with the cue ball in the yeah. middle of the table. He, he, it looked like he decelerated a little in that stroke too. Yeah, I think if he popped that in the way he normally Yeah, would. you got to come close to the eight so you can hold that angle. Yeah. To get back to the seven. He can, he can still get back there. He's got to put a stroke on this. Oh, he uses the eight as a nice yeah, little yeah. touch. That's not a bad shot. It's got a nice little jelly roll. Yeah, he got some good juice on it. He needs a good angle on the eight to get to the nine, and then the nine to the ten is not easy, so... Nope, 9 Some. to the 10 is the stroke test. And you want to come on top of that as we look at it. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I it's wouldn't hard want to, to come down to this side and have to play the 9 past that side pocket. Yeah, and for sure. Ones tend to jump out at you. It's hard to tell how much room he's got between the side pocket and the 9. Oh, look outside pocket. Oh, no, he's going to be horn hooked. Yep. Yeah, he's hooked on the horn. Can't jump it because the nine's too close. Small I masse. Not have seen that. Small masse and try to hold the nine relatively where it is. Send the cue ball to the bottom right. Well, he just crushed it. He actually played that through the horn. That's not a bad shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to get the hit. Now, judging on Paul's last match and his last game to, to shoot the ten ball, this should be routine for him after watching him slice that 10 ball in on the last game. Peter won the first game, right? Oh, the last match. Oh, the last we were match. Right, right, right. He was really close yeah. to the work there. No problem at all. Look out Does he miss this? He does not. Wow. Wow. It's going to be 2 nothing, Peter. Short race here. Race of 6 and 10 ball in the boxes. Pretty short. It is tough. Goes quick. Peter says thank you very much. We'll give a shout out to 
one of the local sponsors here in Calgary, guys. Lumberding Exteriors, if you were affected by the hailstorm in Calgary, either in July or August, northeast or southeast Calgary, make sure you give them a call. 403-531-8784. And mention Q Sports Live, you'll get 250 bucks off your deductible as well. Big hail. Big hailstorm. Lots of people affected in Calgary. It was a brutal year for that. Make sure you guys yeah, click I, that share button for us. I was going to say, I've, I've noticed kind of throughout the day, there's really not um, been a lot of big monster breaks with a wide open run out table. Other than Eric. They're kind of clustered. Yeah, Eric had two against me, but for the most part, Eric it's... Eric is uh, crushing it. Yeah, for the most part, it's crazy. Tom, you can find the bracket on Challenge. I think it's also shared on Calgary Pool Scene. Can we chime in on why lower divisions require patching and higher divisions don't? I think there's just more arguments. Yep. I would agree. In lower divisions about calling the pocket. Higher division, you just know, like, unless the guy miscues. <laughs> yeah. And it goes in a weird hole and he's mm -hmm. super dishonest. Well, and you'll, you'll see happen. kind of in the, in the lower divisions as well that uh, they tend to call refs more so than the higher divisions. And they're a little more stickler on the rules than perhaps what the, what the higher levels are. So it's, in my opinion, and perhaps Ben's, uh, yeah. just a way to cut down on the amount of stuff that can happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's another good way to put it, just so you don't need a ref as often, right? Yeah. And uh, if you haven't, uh, haven't watched all day and you're just tuning in, uh, with this particular tournament, there are no early tens, so you can't, for example, combo or float down for the for the three ten combo, make the ten and, and win. There are no early ten balls. You have to run the table. Yeah, it would it would just spot if you make the combo. Yeah. Paul's scratching troubles in that top left continue. Yeah. Cue ball Hungry and pocket. straight in. It's Peter can't be thinking about a three foul here. This is wide open. Does he play the four in the side next? I think that's what he's playing for. Came up a little short on that. Yeah, he might have to play the corner now, which is okay. Draw into the 10 if he has to. He's gonna play the five in the corner, but oh man, Ooh. you gotta put a good stroke on this ball. Yep. Cheat the pocket a little. <coughs> forward motion that would be the cheesiest call <laughs> ever oh, wow. I don't think it's that, not a legal shot that's though. not that's a shot no. it may have forward motion but it is not considered a legal shot I think they actually the BCA discussed that again recently like in the last few years and you're allowed to move it with your shaft for yeah. sure you're allowed to move the cue ball you're. around yeah. yeah you just can't it, it, it can be uh, called a shot if you take your tip, tip. and you forward yeah. move like yeah. you are going to stroke the cue yeah. ball or like you would stroke a cue ball. I think when people call stuff like that, it drives me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, well, you know what the guy is what doing. That's we were right? alluding to earlier with, uh, with why the lower player or lower, lower levels play with the patch. Yeah. Like, and Jared brings up a good point. If you drop the cue ball and hit a ball for sure, it's a foul. Yeah. Yes. I've seen that happen. Definitely seen that. You ever seen the guy drop the chalk on the white ball? Nope. White ball moves? I haven't seen that. I've seen that. <laughs> That's a cold foul, right? Yeah. Ice cold, man. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> chalk slips. Cue ball moves. Foul. Yeah. <laughs> Well, 
these guys are hacking around that eight ball. <laughs> That's just poetic justice is what that is, Nick. Yeah, you can't feel good about shooting for, like after that. Oh, my ball in hand now. <laughs> Right. You're gonna be guilty. You're gonna miss like oh, nine times the out of ten. Has gotta just kill you. <laughs> but I remember, you know, I remember coming up through the ranks, and that was something that we discussed as a team. It was probably in the in the B level, either B one, two, or three, whatever it was. Um, that yeah, guys, let's let's use the rules. Let's play the rules too, right? Which is the wrong approach. Yeah, you just gotta. Oh, look out! Not again! Well, these guys are scratching wow. a lot. Wow! Scratching a lot. Now the ten technically spots, and he gets ball in hand. Yeah, this happened when I was playing Peter as well. Like it, he made a really good shot on the ten, like way harder than that. He drilled it and drew it, and the cue ball went one rail in the same pocket. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was like, do you want me to shoot it? No. <laughs> Spot it and shoot it. <clears throat> we need to uh, perhaps invest Ben and a couple of nice chairs so that when we come here we don't have to sit on stools it's tough you know because you got to have a high enough chair for these tables yes and for the height of every table everywhere we go right <laughs> sometimes we're sitting a lot lower well, down this this is our home base though and i think it might be something it, it's worth a discussion for sure just keep them in the back room here yeah, yeah. it's a good idea i like brilliant it. idea in fact I kind of liked it. We'll have all the players coming over wanting to do commentary right. between <laughs> matches. <laughs> and stealing your french fries at the same time. Fries, yeah. At least you didn't double dip your gravy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sacrilegious. No, you can't do that now, especially, you know, COVID. <laughs> right? You shouldn't even be stealing my fry. What if I catch COVID? Do I get to blame Sean? Yeah, I think. Right? Yeah. I think I do. Nice. I like that, Jared. That's why yeah, I tell people, sure. too. Yeah. Like, I, I actually had it out with a guy in Vegas once because his, well, and it wasn't just me. It was, like, the whole team was, like, just losing it on this guy, right? Yeah. And uh, I told this captain, I was like, dude, you're equally at fault. Yeah. I'm like, I would have told that guy to pack up his cues and go home, yep. and we'll play with four players, right? Yeah. Before I'd ever play with someone like that. Yeah. I don't even have to know the story, and I'll just agree. Yeah, it, w it was crazy. The guy was, like, trying to bend the rules, you know? I think it was a combo, like a dead like a dead ball. Yeah. He's like, oh, you didn't call it. Oh. But then he did it twice. And of <laughs> all players to do it to, John Pay Pompey, who's, like, wow. the nicest guy you'll ever meet, yeah. right? Wow. <laughs> That was quite funny. By the end of it, it was pretty heated. Oh, I bet. But only him and his teammates weren't really standing up for him, but they weren't stepping in either and right. telling him to stop, right? Yeah. And that's what you got to do. Just man, If they're not going to be good sports, then don't have them on your team. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather have a player that, like, can't play good pool at all yeah. <laughs> than a superstar that yep. has bad sportsmanship, right? Do Does these it? count towards Fargo Raider just tourneys? Uh, I don't think they, uh, I guess depending. Le league's counting now. Depending. Uh, SML doesn't doesn't report to Fargo. They didn't with LMS last year? No. No. Wow. These guys are scratching a lot. That's crazy. Missed the 10 there? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure how, but he did. But yeah, I guess uh, it depends on the league, I guess. Some re some report to Fargo, some don't. Same as tournaments, right? Some tournaments report to Fargo, some don't. I don't know if this one's going to Fargo or not. But. They usually do, all the 
tournaments on Challenge. They'll end up there eventually, I guess. Peter looking to regain the two game padding he's got. A little bit of movement in that As long one. as he doesn't scratch again. You know? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> he's okay. Another shout out to a great CSL sponsor, Jam Up Apparel. Go check out their website. Lots of new stuff on there. Yeah, we just released uh, Junior Jam Up. There's uh, a new golf line, golf shirts. Some arm sleeves. Um, there's new designs for uh, for player shirts. All kinds of new stuff on Jam Up Apparel. And face masks. If you're uh, looking for face masks, Jam Up has some. Gators and masks, yeah. See, I mean, great break. Hit it so good. Hooked Look on at the, the layout. Hooked on the one. This is when I played him. I don't know if you caught any of that because you were playing on the table beside me. No, but, I man, didn't. he did not get one <coughs> roll. No. I was so, so kind of in tune you were, with, You were zoned. Uh, I was zoned, yeah. I was watching you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because Peter couldn't get a roll. So it was like 4 nothing, 5 nothing right away. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was, and just like this, he's breaking great, making one or two balls and hooked every time. Yeah. And not just hooked, but like times where he shouldn't be hooked, right? Yeah. Well, and Eric, uh, when I was playing him, he did not play like Eric normally plays. He did in two. He had two monster break and runs, and, uh, but yeah, he just didn't play like Eric normally does, and he just, I just happened to play good that match. He didn't so really give him much to work with after that. A little rusty, hey? Yeah. Which is good for a fellow like me. Well, anytime you beat him, doesn't matter if he's rusty or not. Well, I mean, really, how, how rusty does Eric Vargas get? Not the very. Still, I mean, <laughs> some of the outs and shots he was making was, oh, what yeah. the hell? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I watched <laughs> one where he caromed in a ball that was in the middle of the table and he drilled it break speed of four four off off the side of the four onto the five yeah and the ball was in the middle of the table that he made like yeah. break and speed calls it into the corner right and i was like what the hell and it went how did that go it went straight in like didn't even come close to the rail yeah <laughs> hard of the pocket yeah and then i look back next game he's getting three fouled yeah that was the uh, the crowning moment. <clears throat> good save here from Peter. Yeah, really good save. And these guys got to be contemplating that as well because the three ball's in a bad spot and the two ball. So even if you develop the two, what do you do with the three? Is he going to go off the rail, split the one nine, and try to come on the backside to hit the two? No, Is that he, what I just he's see? hitting. He's, he's hitting the, the one. Shot? He's hitting the one ball here. Oh, he just missed it. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, trying to spin the in. One. Same as in one. our match. What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the funniest thing was after, like, I didn't even see the three, the f you but, the but you made the three on the break. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I didn't see the three. I mean, the four. So yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. mixed up there too. Well, and the stupid <laughs> part about it is, is I was shooting the two ball. Mm -hmm. And the four was right, is right, right next to the beside. Two ball. That's why I, I wasn't watching either. Cause <laughs> well, it was a duck out. <laughs> you were three inches away from it and straight in. It was so. a duck out. I sound like I'm in the basement. Is that for everybody? Do I sound like I'm in the basement? Maybe if I uh, put the mic up a little bit closer. Or switch its sides. Maybe it might echo. That if we're on, mic's on the same side or too close or something. Well, I'll see... Uh, let me know how that is. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Of course, it could be my voice, too. <laughs> Always let us know, though, guys. Yeah, for sure. If it doesn't sound or look good, let us know. Oh, there's a nice little separating safety from, uh, from Paul. Yeah, containing. He would have rather that flick the right side of the nine more and get cover. Well, if I was good before, hopefully now it's uh, even better. Oh, there's a great shot. Yeah, he got really well done. Nice he shot. got cover behind the three and the nine, I think. I 
assume Paul has to use this bottom rail. I sounded good. All right, Robert. You've been outvoted. <laughs> good hit there. Yeah, really nice. I think the one got the rail. One did get the rail. And, it's uh, probably frozen on there. It's still not an easy layout from here. I think these guys are going to bat the bat the one ball around here for a little while. Yeah, <coughs> Pete, Peter's going two rails here. He'd like to have the cue ball right where the two is. This is pretty well struck. Yeah, right behind that five ball. That's Beautiful a great shot. shot. Really good shot. He knew he had a couple good ways that could turn out. That was one of the better ways. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to have to break speed this four rail. This is Off the top rail, side rail behind the three ball. Lots of right hand spin. Oh, yeah. Down, down. I'd rather Massé around oh, than miss there. the eight kind of thing. Oh, tries to tie the three. <clears throat> yeah, I would have. I would have Mass eight around the five. Miss the eight. You'll catch enough right spin to hit the one for sure. Yeah. But it always looks easier from back here. Of course. I never miss from back here. No, I'll just go three. When I get in front of the camera, I shoot the wrong damn ball. Just go three rails and cut it in. What was so hard about that? Uh, right? <laughs> I got that shot made already. <laughs> what are these guys doing? And, of course, guys, if you are just tuning in, help us out. Hit that share button. The more the merrier. Yeah, I thought he would play safe again. Yeah, for sure. Being where the three ball is. Yeah. Paul's going to go for the short cue here. Pretty sure. That is a lot of distance. Yeah, you got to be pretty accurate here. <laughs> That's true, Jarrett. I get on that side of the camera, I shoot the wrong damn ball. <laughs> <coughs> Sequential or, or, no, numerical order. Numerical, yeah. Two rails, oh, called what it. A shot. Must have called it there, I assume. What a shot. This is going to work out not bad, yeah, considering really nice where attempt. the three is. Yeah. Very well done. Peter's going to try to find another safe. Two rails out of there with the two ball, scooch over with the cue ball. Yeah. You got it. Oh, he's trying to freeze on that five again. Oh, and he did. He did just that. Yeah, that's a good There's shot. There's a little bit of space there, but... <coughs> Looking live. On the nine takes away the side rail, so this is not an easy hit. Nope. Even if you pump off the off the bottom rail. Yeah, the six. A bit of left hand juice or something. The six is covering six too is much. Covering, I'd yeah. rather mass a before I did that. See, and I don't mind those. I don't mind shooting over here with lots of juice. Yeah. Lots of juice it. Lots of juice it. Did you get that? Lots of juice it. Lots of juice yeah. it. <laughs> Proper Englishing here. That was, a pool. That was a pool term. <laughs> Lots of juice hit. <laughs> Y'all knew what I meant. You tried Just your like shot. That, yeah. That's so hard to judge. It really is. Such but I mean, he's he was in tough. Yeah, no he didn't what. have much. Peter played a good safe there. Yeah. Although Peter's got to play a, a good shot with a breakout here. This can easily go wrong. Yeah, he does have to break it. You got to be careful you don't get stuck behind the eight or send the three too far like, like this. this. <laughs> okay, I wanted to kind of split them softly, but yeah. it's dangerous, dangerous shot. Spin to win at this point, yeah. So do you play the 310 combo spot the 10? <clears throat> I think I try to find a safe here before I do that. It's not easy though, the no, safe, so a, yeah, maybe safe. maybe play the three ten. Just to give yourself another shot, the, right? The problem is the three's never gonna get in the open unless you hit it really hard. But then the odds of making a combo when you hit it that hard are so low. Yeah. Just gonna flick it and try to go behind the the ten off the six. No, he's gonna play the ten. When the safe is that hard, yeah, he's gonna you flick. You may as well go for the shot. He's gonna flick the three and go into it though, not with the combo. Really? Oh, oh cue ball's gonna find its way right through there. He was playing a two way. He thought he could just hit the ten and keep the cue ball, you know, behind the five kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 
Right, the weight was good on the on the three. Just needed to connect with the tempo. This is not routine no. for Paul. The combo is a little weird, I think. Well, he's going uh, where three to five. Yeah, three, and then the five ten combo. Well, and you got to control that five ball, right? Mm -hmm. Control the cue ball and the five ball, and you're doing three things at once, making the ten as well, right? Yeah. It's never fun. I think he's good here, though. Nice little pocket weight. Yeah, just roll it, middle ball. <laughs> Ten debated whether it wanted to go down the pocket. If you guys didn't hear before, no short racks this tournament. Ten gets spotted. As it wobbles into place. <laughs> Thanks, Virginia, on the uh, YouTube chat. Yeah, no doubt. Uh-oh, look out, oh, Ten Ball. No. What's he done? Jump you again, or does he kick this one, too? Oh, I think I'm jumping this. He's left-handed. Mm -hmm. It makes this maybe even a little easier. Yeah. Even right-handed, I'm yeah, still I don't, jump this. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Because I don't think there's a way you can get stuck. Unless you draw. If you draw the cue ball behind the nine ball, that's probably not good. But I don't think there's a way to get stuck. He, oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to uh, go back and watch that. Yeah, sorry, Paul. Yeah, yeah. That was my bad. <laughs> that is the, the power of the commentator's curse right there. That was pretty good. <laughs> I don't think he can get stuck here <laughs> unless. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll just be quiet. Well, hopefully he just kicks this in and then yeah, you don't right? have to worry about it, That's right? That's it. That's it. So I'll you to, really got to root for him to kick this in. <laughs> I'll have to apologize to Paul after the match. Oh, he got good contact and separating. Look at this. And he's on the beach. That's he pretty can't good. Can't ask for more than that. That's pretty good. Can't off ask for more than that. two rails. So I think if you're Peter, you just cut this in the bottom right, yep. and the cue ball actually might land below the eight. Put the eight in the same hole. Oh, he hit that really well. That's what he's thinking too, but he might How have to. Oh, about perfect. Bank it or. Play a safe. I tend to think he'll play a safe here, but... I do too. The, if the bank is dead, then you can shoot the bank. It looks like it's maybe a little too much angle. I can't believe I just cursed Paul that bad. Carl says, well, that was a first. Are you talking about uh, the fact that I actually called something right? I think I've done that maybe once or twice. I get lucky every now and again. It was, it was, you were right, though. It was doubtful that that would happen like that. Yeah. Usually you catch, like, way more spin than that <laughs> or not at all. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get it just perfect. I should patent the commentator's curse for sure. I have a very strong commentator's curse. Patent. Should patent. <laughs> well, oh. that's not terrible. Yeah, Peter didn't get cover when he played safe, but he did leave the cue ball on the rail, and then Paul had trouble with it. There's only one guy I know that shoots the eyes off of these really well. He's sitting beside me. I ben eats these for lunch. I just learned from guys like Peter when Peter was in his prime, you know. <laughs> oh, man, you spear some of those things in like... Or nothing. Steven, you know, the only way to keep up with him. Because it push in nine ball, right? Yeah. Push in nine ball or ten ball, and he'll freeze on the rail, and you have to spear it in because he oh, will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't pass it back to him. He'll spear it. And he would, like, torture people with that, you know? They couldn't pass it back. They knew oh, no they had to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary, right? Oh. And he would push to, like, some crazy shots, you yeah. know? And then just spear them in well, off the I've, rail, right? Jack I've seen up. Him, and you use this. I've oh used this God. a couple of times where you push into the jump shot. That is pretty common on the bar box, too. Yeah. That's that's one of the things. In nine ball on the box, happens all the time. If I catch COVID, Sean, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's Q Innovations, guys. He is based in Calgary, Alberta, an absolute wizard. 
at any uh, type of cue repair or maintenance that you need done. An absolute genius as people sending them all their work from pretty much everywhere now. Even if you're not in Calgary, you can uh, send him your, your cue. He'll do the work and send it back to you. Hit him up on Facebook. Paul eat a break. Down 3-2, race to 6. Uh, can you guys explain push for push well for us? Uh, the push can be either used for you or against you, depending on the knowledge. So when you first break, if you don't have an open shot on the next available lowest ball... Or even if you have a shot. Even if you do, yeah. yeah. Uh, you are able to push. You can pretty much push to anywhere on the table. Uh, if you leave your opponent hooked, they then have the choice to give the shot back to you. Yeah, so you'll you'll see players like Peter pushed a couple games ago and just left like no shot on the one or like a bank or a weird safety kind of thing. Or other times you'll see players leave a shot on that ball but long and straight and mm -hmm. can't get shape on the next ball, right? Yeah and try to bait them into shooting it, mm -hmm. trying something crazy. Yeah. Does it require a legal shot? No. So a legal shot on a push shot is it can do anything. So long as you don't double hit the cue ball, it's a legal shot. You and I would say... like an inch, and uh, it's legal. You don't have to make contact with anything. And I would say the most common push is, like, in nine ball, when the nine's over the hole, and you're hooked on the one. Yeah. You and make the nine. you just push the nine in the nine spots. Yeah. Takes away the combo. Yeah, it takes away the short, short game happening. What's up, Steve? What did Paul do? Did he hook himself here, or was that Peter that hooked him there? <coughs> I didn't see what happened. Yeah, Peter with the tight safeties, of course. That's his go-to. Plays a plays a really smart game. Always has. Uh, what are some of the rules in regards to COVID going on at your local pool hall? So COVID is, uh, COVID practices are in effect. He's got up uh, the protection screen where you would go to, to pay. Um, social distancing is still in effect. Now in Calgary, and I don't know whether this is based on Alberta, based on Calgary, based on what it is, but uh, the rules that we have here in Calgary is so long as you are engaged in a sporting activity, you do not need to wear a mask, or if you're eating or drinking or so on and so forth. So um, there are policies in effect here where when you first walk into the building, you must have your mask on. As soon as you're in and seated or playing in a match, you do not have to wear it. So there are policies in effect. But again, that may be just Calgary specific. It's a nice shot by Peter. Yeah, because didn't I didn't want to rub that eight ball there. And I think like a lot of small towns and stuff, they don't have mask mandatory no. yet. So yeah. nice little spin to rail out. Yeah, he's, he's perfect here. Yeah. Two rails again, or does he check it? He checks it. Steve, you guys sound pretty smart. <laughs> well, that's our job is to make us sound smart. Yeah. It doesn't we, mean we actually are. Exactly. <laughs> we don't have to be smart. <laughs> Just have to sound smart. Oh, hey, no troubles at all, Jarek. We appreciate you tuning in, as well as everybody else, of course. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, as always, Jarek. Indeed. Which begs the question... Are there any new viewers to Q Sports Live that are on watching right now, either Facebook or YouTube? If you're new to Q Sports Live, this is your first time, let us know. We will give you a shout out on the stream. Virginia's in Vegas. Mandatory in Walmart. It is mandatory when you when you go to the convenience store, grocery store, get gas, so on and so forth. It is mask mandatory. It just we get the relaxation because we are engaged in a sporting event. So now you'll see Peter. He is wearing his mask. He wears it all the time. 
wraps around his chin right now. I don't know how he does it because like, right? my chin is right on my cue. <laughs> I'm sure I could figure it out. I've seen some U.S. states where you have to wear it while you're playing. New Facebook watcher from New York City area. Well, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you, Harris. At one point, I would really, really like to go down and, and do some streaming in New York City. I'd love to go to New York City, of course. That'd be amazing. <coughs> I just want to go to Vegas, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> For the pool or the gamble? Well, a little of both, a little right? Both, yeah. yeah. You and me both, Benny. Yeah. Although I... I was so looking forward to the CCS Niagara Falls event. Oh, that one too, I know. Yeah. I know. Like I 9 o'clock that morning, I was up, I was packing, we were still good to go. 10 o'clock, <sighs> we got the call. It's crazy. Yeah. I got to talk to Ted and make sure I can still play. <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, great hit. What a great hit from Peter right there. Just need Don't you. Don't know if you got to Need you to vouch there, for me, you know, yeah. that I'm good um, for the league. Yeah, and, of course. You know, I got Just you. one more year. And I got you, Benny. Yeah, Jen Beretta's pool hall in Coney Island. That would be cool. Yeah, absolutely. I saw so she was training with, uh, who was she training with, Mika or Thorsten? It was maybe Thorsten. I think so, too. They ran like a Scotch doubles 200 or 100 balls, 150 balls or something like that. Yeah. Scotch doubles straight pool. Well, Kate C. on New York City uh, on, uh, on YouTube, you hook us up. I had the pleasure of, uh, of commentating one of uh, Jennifer Beretta's match. She was playing Allison Fisher uh, at the Ashton Twins Classic. Super, super nice girl. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Both of them are. Yeah. Both Allison and I have had the pleasure of, of talking with Allison numerous times when we went down to, uh, where were we? Chicago. For, yeah, Chicago for the uh, NAPT event. Uh, had the pleasure of talking with Jennifer Beretta at uh, the Ashton Twins Classic. Super, super nice girl. <coughs> yeah, I'd love to go to Amsterdam billiards too. That would oh, be great. Yeah, I want to go to all of them. Nice shot from Paul. Yeah, this can't is really ask for anything more than that. That was pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna have to play some some good shape on this <coughs> nine. I think four or three rails. Top left juice here. How do you equate Fargo to TRS used in Ontario? You don't. They're two different systems. We get we get asked that a lot. <coughs> How do you equate Fargo to, you know, uh, the SML League or Ted's League or anything else? You can't really cross compare the two. You're either Fargo rated or you're not. If you're not, find a tournament to get Fargo rated. Um, they're just different different systems. Yeah, there's too many different rating systems. And hopefully, one day, we can bring back the, uh, the Q Sports Live Invitational. Yeah, we'll see what next year looks like, you know? Yeah. Got to have things a little bit more free and open in order to pull that one off. I think we had 96 players last, last year. Yeah, we were, we were at 96, I think. 96 or 97? We were shooting for, what, 118? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, one, one eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but not bad for our first year. <coughs> or no, I think no. We were shooting for ninety six. Were we? Yeah, because we wanted to have seated buys. Oh right, right. Oh, and we had like eighty eight players or something. Ninety one, eighty eight, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah. We didn't quite yeah. fill up. Shot the winner of that tournament's in the room right now. Yeah, he sure is. Battling it out with the third place finisher in that tournament, <laughs> Kevin Osborne. And the second place finisher in that tournament has not been seen with a pool cue in his hand for quite some time now. <laughs> Mr. Montel. It's because he's always at the poker room. He's been <laughs> seen with some cards in his hands. Yes, yeah. a few chips in front of him. 
tapping this nine ball around, playing safe, both of them. I think Paul's going to get a good save here behind 10. Yeah, he got a good one. And I think he took away a lot of that left side rail, so Peter's going to have to use the right side rail. Might be able to spin in behind to get contact, but where's it going? The problem I would be... I think you're hope it yeah. last here anyway. Yeah, so at least if you hit this side and call the side bank, I don't know, maybe you get separation if you hit the the proper but side of the ball. Do right? you do what he's doing here and just feather light it and just tap the nine to the rail, like that, almost like a pocket weight? That's what he was trying to do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mind that, but... Kevin Handspring Osborne, yeah, that's who's playing Stan right now. <laughs> 91 uh, is definitely a lot of players. Oh, my gosh. Paul took it for granted. Ball in hand? He just, he just missed ball in hand. <clears throat> he took it for granted a bit. This is where, like, if you're Peter, you, you can't care that you're hooked right now. you no, got to be so happy to be at the table. <laughs> yeah, 90-some-odd 90, 90 players. It was a lot, um, but I can't wait to do it again. That one was... Uh, it was called the CSL Invitational for a reason. It was by invite only. It was a $10,000 added tournament that we had right here, leather pocket. Ton of fun. Make sure you guys go check out Des Berry's coloring book collection. Emily and MJ's coloring book collection. Show them some love, guys. Just starting this out. Some great native art in there. He's coming with some some new stuff too. He said he's gonna make some pool ones. Something different. It's Paul. the first I've seen of uh, or heard of even a pool coloring book. But hey. Well, adult coloring books are getting a little more oh, popular. Huge. Especially like during COVID, you couldn't even yeah. find one at the store. Yeah. Same as bikes and yeah, bikes were impossible to find too, yeah. Nice shot from Peter. Bumps that 10 out of the way, but did he get enough? Oh yeah, he's got enough. Yeah, he's okay with this angle too, because he wanted lots of angle to get down to the three next. Yeah, he's got to go between the eight and nine. I was I just going to say, you don't want to hit the nine ball or oh, the eight ball here. He was so worried about that that he just missed the two. Oh my God, and a scratch again. Oh no. Virginia says APA in Las Vegas has been playing for six weeks, but they got to wear masks and play on every other table unless the tables are really spaced. We're lucky here that the tables are very well spaced. They are. He even he renovated added, a back yeah. a back room and moved some tables back there and created a little more space. Really great pool room, guys, if you're ever in the Calgary area. Oh, come on. Holy. Come on. How do you go inside juice off a ball, off a rail, and scratch? How many times is he scratching the top left? Oh, it's That crazy. pocket's eating him alive here. It's, yeah. It's and then, him the one and then in the last rack, he shoots the nine in there, and it rattles. Yeah. The cue ball goes straight yeah. in every time, but yeah. the Paul. object ball won't go in there. Paul, buddy, here's some advice. Avoid the top left corner oh, at yeah. all costs. With balls and the cue ball. Yeah, with anything. Just play like the top left pocket does not exist. Yeah, just play one pocket in the top right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bank the ball if you have to. <laughs> yeah, right. At this point, I probably would. I think it's going to be too late. It's yeah. a B-side match, and Peter is on the hill. Only racing uh -oh. a six on the B-side oh. here. I thought he was shooting the eight next. I was watching live. The seven was hiding behind the camera yeah, stand. Yeah, he was a little bit blocking the view. That, and you like to jump ahead one ball. So Yeah, right. <laughs> you would have been shooting the eight first there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man, I would have been all over the map. <laughs> Yeah, Kane. Well, you should come on out. Table or the the tournaments are always open. From uh, from what I hear, Larry mentioned today, there's uh, a Jack and Jill Scotch doubles event coming. <clears throat> Derek's mentioned that uh, there's probably going to be a thousand dollar added uh, eight ball event 
there will, in October? Yeah, there will be. Just trying to find a weekend. It might actually be in November. Might be first week in November. Mm -hmm. Or Remembrance Day weekend, he said. Yeah. That's it for this match. Peter with the win. 6-2. Congratulations, Peter. Very well played. And thanks for tuning in, guys. We are going to do a quick shutdown restart. I'm going to get these fries into me. In the meantime and in between time, we will get the next set of matches teed and ready to rock and roll for you. Don't go far. We will be back fairly quickly as soon as the next match is ready to rock and roll. We appreciate you tuning in. On behalf of myself, Ben Francis, and the rest of the Q Sports Live team, thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back shortly. See you guys soon.